Yeah, when do we can start? I think. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, namaskar to all the uh, participants of this evening's oration. Homeopathic Medical Association of Telangana welcomes you to uh, Dr. Sesha Chari Memorial Oration and also Dr. Lakshmi Narayanji Memorial Oration. And uh, I request the president of our association, Dr. Uh, Gopal Krishnaji, to introduce uh, the memorial orations and also today's evening's orations. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Venu. Good evening to everybody. And hearty welcome to honorable speaker of this evening, Sri Virendra Sonasariaji. And all the welcome, hearty welcome to all the participants and the eminent homeopathic doctors, friends. So, on behalf of Homeopathic Medical Association of Telangana and our team members, all the team members, Dr. Vanagopal Gauri, our co convener, our convener, Dr. Sampat Rao, our general secretary, Dr. Durga Prasad Rao, and all the team members. I heartily welcome you all to this webinar that is being held in memory of Dr. Sheshachari and Dr. Lakshmanarayanan. So Dr. Sheshachari was a popular homeopath. So he is one of our founder members. So he held various positions in our responsibilities in our association. So he was instrumental in bringing up our institution. So he was a civil servant in the Nijam's government to start with. So he developed great love for homeopathy after a few experiences in life. And till his death, he continued to be a true homeopath, serving many needy, sick, poor people and without charging a pie and rather spending from his pocket. So he was also nominated to the Central Council of Homeopathy. And during his tenure, he did great service for the furtherance of homeopathic concepts and the uh, government patronage. Various things he achieved during his tenure, especially in the state of Andhra Pradesh erstwhile. So he was instrumental in uh, making many government rules and regulations in favor of homeopathy and promotion and propagation of homeopathy. So on this occasion, we pay our heartful homage to Dr. Sheshachari, sir, and also the another sponsor, Dr. Lakshmanarayanan, was also our former president. So he was a great homeopath. So he was also instrumental in running our institution uh, and becoming popular in serving through homeopathy to masses. So we pay our heartful homage to him on behalf of our association on this occasion. And we also thank the family of Dr. Lakshmanarayanan, uh, Srimati Sudha Lakshmanarayanan for sponsoring the event. And Dr. Lakshmanarayanan was author of our journal and he was running a journal so very successfully for quite some time till his death and after a decade probably we revived it and now under the stewardship of Dr. Shivashankar Garu and Dr. Venugopal Gauri we are running the journal again so on this occasion we pay a rich, heartful tributes to both these doyens of homeopathy. So, thank you. Thank you. Venu. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. 
for introducing our orations and uh, these were people with uh, rich tributes i mean uh, they have done for a lot for the cause of homeopathy and uh, it was during the times when homeopathy was not probably a recognized course uh, early in independent india when uh, dr sesha chari ji um, uh, with others like dr nm j surya started our uh, uh, association and uh, we are proud that we are members of the same association and uh, uh, and do our bit to carry on the work along their blessings and uh, we have a very special guest this, this evening uh, dr sri virendra sona sariya ji uh, an eminent uh, gentleman with a, a background of psychology and um, uh, has specialized in uh, studies of flower remedies he will be sharing with us uh, his ideas and uh, how well it can be used in our therapies that all many of our clinicians do and we will uh, learn more from him this evening but as we go into his oration i request dr samta gandhi our uh, member of our executive committee uh, to introduce our speaker shri virendra sona sariya ji Sir, am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, very much. Good evening, everyone. I, on behalf of our president, Dr. Gopal Krishna Garu, sir, General Secretary, Dr. Durga Prasad Rao, sir, Convener, Dr. Sampath Rao, sir, Co-Convener, Dr. Venu Gopal Gauri, sir, and the entire team of Homeopathic Medical Association of Telangana, we welcome you, sir. Thank you. Today, of Guest of honor is Sri Virendra Sona Sariya sir. Virendra Sona Sariya sir has completed his MBA in Education Management and MSc in Psychology. He has worked in holistic and complementary healing for over twenty five years, while on a path of personal and spiritual development. He has a passion for bachelor remedies and has used them both personally and professionally for more than twenty years. He is a certified telepathic animal communicator and also works with plants and land. He has completed his batch foundation teachers program level one by traveling right to the batch center UK and has become a licensed teacher of batch level therapy for India. He has the distinction of becoming the first teacher in India to connect batch center up to level one course in Hindi and Marathi. Sri Virendra Sona Sir Sir has a zeal for helping people move towards health, wholeness, and empowerment. He has over two decades of experience in reflex reflexology. And is certified by California Hypnosis. Ah, four kilometers. Four kilometers. Ah, so. 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 Sir, we welcome you, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, Dr. Samata. On uh, I first of all uh, would uh, like to thank the entire Telangana Homeopathic Association for inviting me for uh, this lecture. Uh, uh, if I could uh, share my screen, uh, I hope uh, I have that permission. Let me see. Can you see the screen? Anyone can answer. Or oh, Nali? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So that I can have some slides also uh, running. Yeah. Uh, so, doctors, all of you, uh, most of you, being homeopath, you are uh, well accustomed to the word batch yeah. flower therapy or batch flower remedy. Oh, we we all have uh, during our homeopathy course. come across this term and uh, we are fortunate that uh, dr batch himself was a homeopath who had founded this uh, system uh, as we all know there were many homeopaths in the earlier time and even now who have come to us from the allopathic side who have boxed in from the allopathic side dr batch was one amongst them so as i go ahead uh, with uh, introduction to batch flower therapy uh, i would uh, like to first uh, talk to you about dr batch something about him 
So Dr. Batch was born on 24th of September 1886 uh, near Birmingham uh, in village called Mosleys. This is in UK. And uh, he was an exceptional child, had a very uh, good uh, intelligence. And uh, he became, uh, as he always wanted to be uh, a doctor. That is, he wanted to be in the medical profession. So he completed his MBBS and later on went to become a pathologist and a bacteriologist. There was one unfortunate incident in his life, which occurred in the year 1917. One day while he was in the hospital, he suddenly collapsed. And uh, as there was uh, no uh, diagnostic uh, facilities, uh, which are of the rank now at that time, doctors had to examine him and they found out that uh, there is sarcoma in his intestine. So immediately he was operated upon and he was given just three months to survive. But by the grace of God and his zeal, uh, as he had some purpose in his life, he started to write what he had uh, collected all his uh, uh, research that he had done right from his childhood days about the uh, human in the medicine field. He started to pen that. He started to write those journals. And uh, you would be surprised that uh, three months passed away and he survived for nine, uh, up to 19 years more than the time of his death. So before he died, in the year 1936, he uh, had completed his work in batch flower remedy and he gave this uh, very valuable gem to the world that is batch flower remedies. So let us see a little more about uh, Dr. Sorry Batch. to interrupt you, sir. Uh, sir, your voice is a little low, sir. If you... uh, now, can you hear? Can you hear now, sir? Better, sir. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Still more, sir. Can you please increase still more? Definitely. I'll... Now, can you hear? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for uh, guiding me. If you have any uh, such things, do uh, notify me. Yeah. I hope this is better now. Okay, so let us see a little more about Dr. Batch. As I told you, Dr. Batch uh, was an MBBS doctor. He, uh, later on, he went to become a bacteriologist and a pathologist. See, now this itself tells us that how much uh, knowledge hungry he was. He just went on to gain so much knowledge. And out of that knowledge, he was a very unusual medical student because he was always interested more in patients themselves than their diseases. Now, what implication or what importance it applies to us as homeopaths, we know because we all are more after the patients themselves rather than their labeled diseases. At that time, he was still not an homeopath, but he had this bent of mind. He very well knew that most of the thing lies in that domain. So Dr. Badge began to feel that treating physical symptom was not enough. Body itself was reflecting the thoughts in the mind and it was the sufferer himself who uh, needs to be uh, treated, you know, for his worries, depressions and hopelessness, whatever, whatever other emotions also. Thank you. Uh, so uh, what what had happened is he always as I told you he always wanted that uh, there has to be a therapy uh, which is not a non habit forming a non toxic thing for his uh, patient because he disapproved the treatment that was given by the uh, doctors of his time he coming from the modern medicine field allopathic field himself and uh, there were many things which he would not approve. But he himself did not have anything to offer 
to his patients but he was after something which would be non toxic which would be uh, non habit forming which would be pure gentle in cure this was what he was trying to find out and fortunately he landed upon a book as we all know called organon of medicine now organon of medicine by dr samuel hanneman was the greatest turning point in his life because from then onwards he was so happy that what he was thinking has already been found 200 years before uh, by some other doctor by dr hanneman himself so whatever he was thinking has all been given by dr hanneman and in this short if i uh, have to uh, tell you the patient being the most important factor in the healing is what lies at the uh, core of homeopathy and this was exactly what dr batch wanted to do and he found out there there is already a system so after that he took up homeopathy very seriously he became a homeopath also he studied uh, and then later on he has there are records that he worked in the homeopathic hospital in london he was editor of many homeopathic uh, revered journals of uh, his time and he was the one who has given bowel nosos i am sure most of us would have heard about bowel nosos so actually it was dr batch himself who uh, worked on this and he has given and we know that bowel nosos are working wonderfully even in today's time wherever they are indicated uh, friends in 1930 he became so convinced that his uh, one life would not be able uh, would not be sufficient to uh, find out this pure remedy if he is to continue with the allopathic and uh, homeopathic and other sides so he completely gave up all his other practices and he devoted his entire life to the finding of this new system of uh, remedies called batch flower remedies later on they were named by his but uh, we can say flower remedies at when he was living so just to have a quick snap of uh, bowel nosos these are the seven bowel nosos you all may be knowing and this is what dr batch has given us there there are keywords for what they are used and the homeopathic remedies so i had bought this slide to tell you that uh after this even in the bowel nosos see we know that in bowel nosos uh still there there is the medicine which is made is made from uh the part of the organism uh, which is in that disease state he wanted that there has to be medicine which will not be used from that state but which will be pure and from the nature so he wanted to go take his research further so that he can find out so he did not stop at this he went further and that is what gave uh, the birth to the wonderful system of batch remedies so uh, to understand in a nutshell we know dr batch had said that this equilibrium within our mind is the fundamental or the sole cause of disease and it is utmost important to treat the mind in order to bring about the healing effect of course we all know this in homeopathy also it is emphasized throughout the batch literature that treatment is based upon personality and so whatever the problem might be the remedy should be selected according to the emotional outlook the mood the temperament and the personality of the individual concerned so just as in homeopathy we are not only concentrating on the uh, disease of that patient suppose if a patient x come with migraine we are just not treating the migraine we are treating the person behind that mar- my- migraine what are the triggers what are the causes of that migraine in that person and we all know from our own experience that it will differ from one person to another and so in homeopathy and in back we do not have a single remedy for that label disease it will be always differing with the patient who comes to us for treatment now if you want to read the entire life history of dr batch then nora weeks her uh, trusted companion 
who has given the entire of her entire life she has de devoted to uh, dr batch uh, principles theories and this batch remedies his philosophies to promote that that is nora wait she was a nurse by profession she has written a book called medical discoveries of dr edward batch physician it is a wonderful account of dr batch career research and discoveries of healing properties of plants that have been so well known throughout the world by the name the batch flower remedy so if any one of you is interested i would definitely recommend this book this is one book which will give you the entire history of dr batch and the journey of the batch flower remedy friends i now show you a picture of batch center this this place was uh, this place is now in a village called sotwell uh, it's actually it's a twin village brightwell comes sotwell so but this is uh, falling in the village sotwell this was the last abode of dr batch today this batch dr batch house is turned into batch center and people all over the world who have to learn batch uh, therapy for their teaching courses do come to this place uh, so it i even i was fortunate that i had uh, i could visit that place um, when i was uh, doing my teachers training so uh, uh, and i tell you even in in this garden still there are so many batch flowers growing right today even today so right from dr batch time most of the remedies that he had made we could find here otherwise he had moved all over england to find out those remedies and when he settled down in this house he fortunately found that most of the flowers which were needed for the batch flower remedies were available in and around this place so this is nothing short of a pilgrimage to people who are in uh, batch therapy they make it a point that they should visit this uh, place so now what was it uh, that we in homeopathy and dr batch always uh, why do we say or give so much importance to the personality you all might have heard this question uh, from some of the other doctors or some other people that uh, uh, how is it mind in a person it's just not possible unless it is a pathogen or something because it has been proven that viruses and bacteria and such things are the causes of disease how can it be sir unable to hear you sir okay i think you might uh, have lost me for some time there you go sir please go ahead sir yeah yeah there was some uh, problem with the connection yeah so i was on the psycho neuroimmunology uh, this thing has uh, lately developed and this gives us and a link between the nervous system the immune system and the endocrine system we all know as doctors what is the important of this system in a normal human in a person who is diseased so any one of them going haywire is directly linked to the other systems not helping or not working so uh, this uh, psycho neuro immunology was actually found by a doctor in a usa during the 1980s and he established uh, through investigation biological link between emotional healing and the immune system it shows a clear relationship between immune system nervous system and how the uh, uh, emotional link gives rise to various diseases in the body so it gives an academic respectability to the beliefs of dr batch and other holistic practitioner even including dr henneman because when we say that a mind can give 
the causes in the mind can give rise to disease sustained diseases unless the mental symptoms are not cured the disease is not eradicated totally so people always demanded that there has to be a proof is there a method is there a science behind it and now that has been as i tell you during the 1980s it has been found and because of that most of the thing uh, have now started uh, accepting by the other professionals in the medical field so what are the batch flower remedy simply if i have to tell the batch flower remedies are medicines for emotion i understand that i am talking to homeopaths so i will not be taking a lecture at a very introductory level what i had done is i have uh, re uh, calibrated my uh, slides and i have brought it to a level where uh, homeopaths would enjoy otherwise uh, if it would have been an introductory lecture i would have to go still down but i know that most of the things are known to you so i would say batch remedies are nothing but medicines for emotion each remedy treats a specific negative state by encouraging the corresponding positive qualities that lies dormant within us so people who will say i i don't have confidence we give them a remedy called lark which is giving confidence to them or people who are anxious and feverful we give them a remedy called mimulus which will remove anxiousness from them and which will give them courage which will make them courageous so this is how dr batch has devised his system uh see if you see the whole journey of dr batch he was a uh, uh, as i told you first he was he did his mbbs then bacteriology then pathology then he did the, his uh, homeopathic studies and having such a vast knowledge when he devised another system he very well knew that some kind of jargon some kind of complications would fall into the system and some people will make monopoly of it so he said from day one that my system has to be simple and i tell you doctors even today simplicity is the hallmark of batch flower remedy system it, it absolutely simply when i as a teacher i teach we go to the very simplest level that not only a doctor but any lay person can understand we don't mean to say that uh, lay person are going to replace doctors but even they can understand they can apply those remedies in their day to day life yes if there are complications we, doctors are always available to help them they are like their elder brothers they are uh, like people who are their guardians to whom this lay people can later on go and who can help them but to keep the system out of this jargon out of this complexity was very much the intention of dr batch and that is uh, how we have maintained it till date so this was about batch flower remedies how is batch flower remedies prepared batch remedies are prepared by two uh, methods one is called the sunlight method and the other is called the boiling method in sunlight method the flowers which are collected are kept in sunlight for around 3 hours floating on the water this water later on becomes charged with the positive energy of that flower and that uh, remedy is mixed with equal proportion of alcohol as a preservative alcohol role is as a preservative so that is mixed with equal amount of alcohol and that becomes the first uh, potency that is the mother tincture in batch originally there are no potencies so there are no 30 200 1 m like in homeopathy they are all at mother tincture level there are some flowers which do not easily give away their medicinal property for them boiling method is applied in boiling method the flowers are boiled in a pan for around 30 minutes after 30 minutes we can get the medicinal property from those uh, flowers each of the 38 remedies discovered by dr batch is directed at a particular character or emotional state so 
to select a remedy one needs to think what type of a person he or she is and what are their feelings so we say that thinking and feelings are the pointer or the guide towards your emotional state and since all the batch remedies are working on emotional state you can easily come to the indicated remedy so feelings and thinking play a very important role in batch therapy so i am showing you in a nutshell this is 38 there are 38 remedies in batch flower remedy system which dr batch had divided into seven groups so these are the seven groups insufficient interest in the present circumstances over care and welfare of others uncertainty despondency and despair fear over sensitive to influence and ideas and loneliness under this the entire 38 remedies have been grouped this uh, chart is already available on the net or if you have some books you can go through them uh, since it's an introductory lecture and i have uh, to uh, speak more i am not going in depth about this but in a nutshell i have shown you and most of you might be knowing also some of you may be practicing also so uh, again uh, what i told you simplicity being the hallmark uh, of uh, the batch remedy and uh, this this again gives a very very valuable thing that in this is a book the 12 healers and other remedies which explain each remedy very plainly and with various states of mind and the outlook and this book is definitive text and is therefore most essential of all concerning the batch remedies this book has been written by dr batch himself and uh, uh, the 12 healers and the other remedies if you ever uh, get a chance to read this book you should read it because it is originally written by dr batch himself very small booklet very authentic very definitive nothing other than what is required has been given by dr batch so uh, what where are the remedies used the remedies are the everyday use of the remedies are for the moods so what can be the moods moods can be the, some kind of a discouragement some kind of uh, either we getting critical of others or others getting critical of us then it can be for certain habits and behaviors what are those somebody may be procrastinating somebody might be impatient so you can use this remedies for various kinds of fear fear as you know basically is divided into known and unknown fear then there are various anxieties there can be lack of confidence loneliness and so many other things in our day to day life where batch flower remedies can be used that is one thing and in diseases which have existed in a person for a very long period of time so batch remedies can be used for those long standing diseases also just as in homeopathy batch remedies are equally efficacious so what is the similarity in approach to treatment between homeopathy and batch therapy this thing i thought that since i am addressing uh, a group of uh, knowledgeable homeopath today and fortunate uh, that i have been invited so let me give you something which is related to both homeopathy and batch so let us uh, see if uh, i am able to give that the main thing in homeopathy and in batch is treat the patient not the disease homeopathic remedies are not prescribed for patient's physical symptom alone practitioner also take in account the type of person being treated and their mental uh, and their states of mind called mental now we all know when i tell you uh, a person has entered uh, in my uh, visiting consulting room and he says or she says rather that uh, i don't uh, like uh, this room to be hot 
if you can open the windows although the ac is running or if ac is not running then open the windows and while giving the symptoms she starts to you know uh, tears in her eyes and uh, one or two questions she tells me that uh, she is disagreeing with facts we immediately know that i am attending a pulsatilla patient because as homeopaths we know that these are the certain types we know pulsatilla we know lycopodium when they enter when they say immediately we can make out uh, this kind of thing how do we make out because we know uh, with the mentals and with help of some generals and physicals that this is a setup of a patient who has come with a different disease so one pulsatilla has walked to you with cervical spondylitis another pulsatilla has walked to you with some digestive disorders but you know the type of the person you know which remedies are applicable and we know giving the correct remedy indicated remedy what wonderful results we get we get this from most of the uh, authentic symptoms or rubrics from the mind so dr kent has said in in the best adaptation of kent's approach to evaluate symptom is found from his lectures on homeopathic philosophy by dr bidwell how to repertorize we all might have read this so in the mentals these are how he has graded the first and the foremost important is the mental symptom according to dr kent we know that Uh, the entire homeopathy if we if we if we do it that way if we divide it then boningosen and uh, kent although they are not different only the approach is different one goes from the physical the other goes from the mental and if we consider kent then very first important thing he says under the mental is the will so as time is uh, less so i am not going into much details if you go in the mentals you all must be knowing i will be attending i will be speaking only on the will see what uh, the will brings to us so in mental the will is the love the hates the fear if you see all these things they are nothing but the emotion and this is exactly where dr batch has worked so he says if you work on the emotion of the patient you are treating the whole patient that is exactly what dr kent has come to us and i am very sure if you have read through all this and you have attended to so many patients if you can actually uh, get to the rubric where the will of the patient is highlighted or is expressed and you get the correct similimum for that you know that the patient is on a sure way to cure this is what dr kent has said this is what dr batch had come with his system of remedies and fortunately in the batch system of remedies uh, like in homeopathy we don't have many things to uh, see like uh, the, uh, uh, is this remedy an inimical remedy can this be repeated or uh, when how much uh, frequency i have to uh, repeat this remedy duration that is duration of the remedy all this is very much less in uh, batch system of uh, remedies so first of all we don't have any inimical remedies Ma many remedies which might seem that they uh, are not uh, uh, going hand in hand can be given together if indicated in a patient so that uh, that gives us a very big scope and we need not wait like in homeopathy in the batch system that if the patient has uh, had his food he cannot take the remedies or he is having some tea and coffee then it is prohibited there are no such dietic and other restriction in batch so you can always give the batch and the one of the most beautiful thing is batch remedies can always be other yeah. batch remedies can always be employed with uh, other system of remedy this is the most wonderful thing and in my own experience as uh, you know uh, uh, i had well it i was introduced i have been practicing now for almost 30 years i have seen that they never have cancelled the good effects of other system of medicine they work and similarly batch remedies also go 
hand in hand. In fact, they are complementary to the other system of medicine. So whoever has uh, this doubt, whether I should apply it with homeopathy or can it be given with some allopathic drugs? Yes, it can be given. And it has no side effects, absolutely zero. And batch remedies can also be given to animals and plants because we all know animals and plants have emotions. So wherever there are emotions, batch remedies have a role to play. So see how beautifully Dr. Kent has expressed in sickness, the patient's nature is changed. He might become quarrelsome, angry, irritable, tearful, hating loved ones, intolerant, sympathy. These symptoms are often the most difficult to obtain as they are concealed from the world. Possibly they will not. And when you find that there is a change in this, you try to treat them, you bring him back to his equilibrium. See, same method is applied in batch uh, remedies. So a patient, a, a patient who has come to you, otherwise he, he might be quite equanimous. But something went wrong and he has become very irritable. He has become very impatient. So there is a remedy called impatience. If that is indicated, you give him and his outlook, his personality would change. He would come back to himself. And so would his uh, distress or whatever is troubling him. So this is something I thought I would share with my homeopathic doctors. Uh, some similarity between batch and uh, other things. So these are these are the original batch remedies, photos of the original. This is how it comes. This is from a company called Nelson. There are other few companies also. So what do the batch remedies do? See, batch remedies are absolutely safe even for a newborn and till a person is in his old age. They are non-habit forming. If you give batch remedies and suddenly if you stop People ask, will it have a side effect? No, not at all. They are non-toxic and free from any chemicals. So this is another advantage. There is no toxic forming substance or any chemical. It is just pure water, which is energized by that flower. Nothing other than that. They can be used with other uh, system of medicine therapies. There are no dietary restrictions and batch remedies are equally efficacious for pets and plants, which I just disclosed to you. So in the world today, in 40 countries, batch education is available, although batch is practiced in many more countries. But batch education, as is in India, somebody wants to learn uh, authentic batch education of the batch center itself. Then ba batch center has made provision that Earlier, the teacher used to come from UK, but now there are some teachers who have been trained from individual countries who take up uh, uh, the training courses and they are certified by the batch center. If a teacher is licensed, then batch center would issue a certificate. I'm giving you name of a few books if anybody is interested uh, in knowing more about it. One of the wonderful book is Batch Flower Remedies by Stephen Ball. Uh, uh, this is a Teach Yourself series or there are other uh, books also by Stephen Ball. If you can't get this, then uh, introduction, all this introduction to batch remedies, that is another book available on Amazon, easily available. Then another book is by Judy Howard, The Batch Flower Remedies, Step by Step. Both Stephen Ball and Judy Howard are currently directors in the Batch Center. So uh, with that, as I was allotted, uh, I decided I'll speak for 40, 45 minutes, and then I would take your questions. So with that, I will uh, stop uh, my lecture, and I will open this session for a uh, question and answer. Thank you, Virendraji. Can you throw in some light on any one remedy for a little while? Because we have time, one is the reason. And the second is definitely uh, introduction uh, our clinicians are aware of. And uh, some new thoughts and thinking from a psychologist side will be helpful, we thought. All right. All right. So I will take up uh, one 
as doctor has requested i will take up one uh, remedy which is uh, from the fear group fear group is one group for which people come to us uh, very frequently so uh, see doctors i will tell you some student has come to you he is going to attend an exam or anything in which he is challenged uh, so what happens their anxiety level increases now once a student has come to you he says that i am going to attend exam uh, in a day two or a week time now but i am very anxious so either gelsinium or argentum nitricum these both remedies are very well indicated now our problem comes uh, next is whether it is gelsinium or whether it is argentum nitricum if you have chosen the right remedy very good if you have not then your results will vary will not be on expected lines even if you have chosen the right remedies you must have the right potency if potency is not right then the results will vary so uh, sometimes this dilemma comes up to a homeopath now in such case suppose if you have given uh, either of the remedies but completely you are not wrong because some both of them are going to work on his anxiety but although you have because you have missed out the similimum your results will not be on the expected line here suppose if you introduce a batch remedy called mimulus that is which is indicated exam anxiety fear of exam we can give mimulus another remedy is larch so limiting our uh, talk to mimulus i would say when is mimulus indicated so mimulus is a remedy which is in indicated in a personality which is shy which is uh, docile and uh, uh, which lacks uh, much courage in in your practice you might have come across people who are uh, who might be very intelligent but uh, in his office or in his place of work they are very timid so they will not go in front of the boss and speak up their ideas would be very good that will be helping the organization to progress but if you ask them come on the stage come speak in front of four or five people they will back up they would not and because of this they always remain behind they may not get the required encouragement or promotions or you know recognition rather and there can be smart person in that office who would borrow the ideas or rather flick the ideas from them and present it to the boss the boss will be so happy oh you are uh, such a wonderful person you have taken the organization to such a great height i wish i had more people like you and less dumb people like him who is actually a gem but only because of his habit because of his nature he doesn't speak so these people are suffering so if just try to imagine if they remain this way how much suffering are they enduring so if you can help them with some batch remedies you're going to change their entire personality where it will give them a courageous it will help them to take a stand they will come out and they will uh, definitely tell uh, in front of people what they are thinking so here you are helping out so much otherwise just think doctor if this thing remains in that patient forever and you go on treating him for his various ailments but the main cause always remains there that this person is a timid person and he could not progress in his life which he does not disclose to anyone so uh, that is a very big uh, problem with uh, uh, this people uh, so this is one remedy uh, doctor do you have still more time so i'll speak another remedy or we'll open for definitely the we can go ahead we can go ahead. okay so i will tell you a case where uh, uh, although i don't uh, go practice homeopathy but since i know homeopathy uh, very well uh, i tell you one case where see how uh, because i am from this bent of mind from the batch uh, it helped me to locate a very good remedy in homeopathy so <laughs> once one of the one of our relative had uh, a problem and uh, i had cured our relative with some batch remedies 
no my this relative has another friend uh, who was passing through a similar physical problem actually uh, both of them were suffering from sciatica so when my relative was cured with batch remedies of her sciatica pain she referred her another friend to me for sciatica pain but here uh, when i took the case i thought that uh, there was one homeopathic remedy which was much more indicated and clear cut visible so i thought i should uh, use this remedy to see what happens with this uh, in that case i uh, had come to the remedy staff now i'll tell you how i uh, got there uh, staff is agree as you know so this lady tells me that uh, there was a robbery in her house and uh, Uh, after the robbery none of her relatives ever came to her to ask or sympathize with her that she has lost so much money and uh, she felt so bad she felt so humiliated that uh, i have always stood by them my relatives in all their difficulties but when i have lost so much in jewelry in that robbery no one has come and uh, you know uh, ask me like how i'm going through what is wrong if and if they can help and all, all this uh, nothing has happened with me although you know some might of you might be thinking that amur also or ignesh also but here uh, after the repetitization it was clearly a case of stab because there were few more rubrics which pointed out to stab so in this case uh, she was given stab and doctors i'm so happy to tell you this lady was visiting uh, so many Uh, orthopedician sometimes neurologist and some other doctors for almost 8 to 9 years and she never had any kind of uh, relievement for a longer time only when painkillers were used she was relieved otherwise it used to come back with staff staff within 15 days uh, she reported that almost 70 to 80% pain has reduced and for almost 6 months she ran on sr and when she came after the sl she was put on batch remedies again because that was not my field so i did not carry her more uh, with batch remedies whatever was remaining that also went away so i can tell you uh, uh, in the cases which are very much physical in nature if we can find out the emotional things emotional causes or mental things mental rubric clear cut we can very well address those cases so uh, in homeopathy also and in batch also it is very much possible so we can now open up if you wish for an uh, question answer or if you want a remedy i could go ahead with that definitely sir there are some interesting uh, questions in the chat thank you so much uh, virendra uh, sona seriya ji that was a, an eye opener into backflower remedies and i'm sure it will Uh, have uh, more youngsters pushing to learn more about these remedies we as clinicians do uh, uh, use these remedies but at the same time uh, sometimes we tend to uh, uh, neglect them in the sense our heart and uh, soul goes out to the homeopathic remedies and somehow don't understand the importance uh, of uh, the emotional picture of these uh, backflower remedies but i'm sure your uh, talk will help uh, more people to Uh, go in that direction sir so there, there are some interesting questions here our advisor dr vashish ji who happens to be uh, a gentleman who has a homeopathic pharmacy and helps people uh, you know homeopathic physicians get their homeopathic remedies he wants to know a little light to be thrown on the preparation of the back flower remedy sir sir i lost your voice what what oh virendra ji uh, ah, yeah. the question was uh, by dr vashish our advisor uh, uh -huh. he happens to be in the pharmaceutical industry helping people get uh, genuine homeopathic medicines he wants to know the preparation again repeat that for a minute preparation okay okay sir uh, there are two uh, methods in uh, batch which are used uh, and this was devised by dr batch himself one is called the boiling method another is called the sunlight method there are 
see if you see the 38 flowers when you will be seeing there are some flowers which are very delicate these flowers easily give up their medicinal qualities so for them sunlight method is applied there uh, a flower is collected in a bowl which is already filled with water and those uh, flowers which are floated on uh, the water in the bowl is kept in open sunlight just under the sunlight outside in the uh, ground or some places where sunlight will be falling directly on uh, the uh, bowl after 3 hours it is seen that the medicinal property the positive medicinal quality of that flower is transferred into the uh, bowl which has this water it is mixed with equal quantity of alcohol and that becomes the first uh, mother tincture level of that flower so we know in uh, in the entire batch system dr batch himself was the single prover so there is no other prover one uh, thing comes up with the homeopathic doctor is uh, how do we know that a particular flower will work see i can tell you that dr batch uh, iq was so great and as you know he is come to us from mbbs bacteriology pathology he is founded uh, bowel nosodes he was editor of so many uh, uh, journals uh, during his time he knew so very well homeopathy so he knew what the homeopathic proving is and when he himself proved uh, he was a master in himself so uh, nobody has doubt anything regarding the indication of those remedies for which dr batch has said so once he says that give memulus to a person who is uh, having fear or lacks courage then it has proven with many uh, cases that it works well so this is how it goes uh, am i able to answer them sir yeah very much sir thank you sir thank you one more question comes from uh, dr naimuni sir uh, uh, mam is asking whether it is better to give these remedies in dilute solutions or in globules and uh, having said that most of these remedies are initially preserved in water will the uh, potency or the efficacy of the medicine remain okay see uh, globules uh, doctor i will tell you original method by the batch center that is used is to give the medicine in liquid form but uh, we know in homeopathy uh, because in india uh, we have such large number of uh, Uh, homeopath dr samuel hanimans follower we are fortunate that we have so many homeopaths that uh, it becomes easier for us to put in the globules and give uh, original batch remedy that comes from the batch center the picture which i had showed you you cannot directly put them on the globules if you put them it will dissolve the globule but in india the remedies which i bought from uk uh, they are already further diluted in uh, our homeopathic sl so our homeopathic sl does not dissolve our uh, globules you know because they have been made that way but uh, the remedies that come from uk they are uh, much more into higher concentration if you put directly our globules will dissolve so that care you have to take so what we do is we give in liquid form but yes if you want to give in your uh, uh, globules form you have to further dilute them in some alcohol and give otherwise indian remedies if you can get hold of them they they will not dissolve your globule so you can give from that thank you sir in fact uh, for the convenience of uh, delivery of the medicine to the patient and all that we have we indians have gone a step ahead and uh, started to dilute them as we do Uh, with our homeopathic remedies, so homeopathy is a superpower. In I mean, India is a superpower in homeopathy. I think uh, we'll always adapt to uh, things that are more convenient for the help of the patient. We have another question from Dr. Anna Purna sir. Uh, she is asked whether uh, there can be a change in the basic mental and emotional disposition of the patient after the application of backflow. Yes, there will be. If you have selected. if a patient has come to you for uh, uh, a proper uh, treatment and he has some kind of issues then there will be a definite change uh, provided it will vary from patient to patient if it is a deep standing 
long term illness it will take proportionate time but there will be definitely a positive change in the outlook Sir, Dr. Srojana Pramod has a question whether uh, this particular remedy, crab apple, can be of help in skin affections and what is the mind affinity? Okay. So, uh, basically, see, doctor, as you know, and I had told in the lecture, uh, directly for skin, we are not treating with batch. What we are doing is how the mind is affecting, uh, how the personality is being projected upon. Now, some people, because of their mental attitude or attributes in their mind, may develop diseases on skin. Okay, in this, in this condition, crab apple is a remedy which cleans the mind. That is the indication. Crab apple is a cleansing remedy as per Dr. Black, Batch. So, cleansing in, is in both the fields, physical as well as mental. Right? So mental cleansing is al also required. So some people, I will not label because I don't want to say that OCD people should take crab apple. If I say that tomorrow, everybody will start quoting Viren instead OCD. But just think what happens in OCD. They are or fastidious people. We all know we have a rubric fastidious. Fastidious, if they want a particular flower pot to be standing at a particular place, somebody changes the location, they will get agitated, annoyed. Now, does that really bother if the flower pot has been turned around or something, but they will get annoyed. Now, this is something where uh, the mental cleansing comes into picture. So, crab apple is indicated for uh, such people. So that, you know, we call that major symptom a, peep, a person may have that he will keep aside and some silly uh, problem he will bring up and he will uh, try to concentrate on that. So he has gone to a doctor, he will forget about his heart wall is not working, from, heart wall is not working properly. He would not say that, but he would say that doctor, every day in the morning I am having itching in the right ear. So that, now if you compare both the thing, you know that it is heart is more important. Itching in the ear may not be so important or he will say every day in the morning when I comb, I get a bunch of hairs coming out, which is not at all required. So we call it V in the bonnet. So doc, whoever doctor has asked this question, crab apple basically is a remedy for cleansing. As I told you, both mental and physical. Because it is helping in cleansing and because skin diseases have this kind of eruptions and all, we have applied it that way. Although there is no direct indication that all skin ailments need crab apple. But we have seen that most of the skin ailments, if you apply crab apple topically, it will give some good result. At the same time, I will tell you, look for his proper emotional distress and give him his indicated batch remedy. That will be more helpful. Okay, sir. So, sir, Dr. Sharath has a question for you. Uh, yes, he said, in your experience, have you given more than two or three remedies at a time I mean, back flower remedies. Okay. Good question, sir. Uh, we can mix uh, maximum up to seven remedies. And this is not my experience. This is the recommendation of doctor uh, from the batch center itself. So they have experimented. It does not necessarily mean that you have to give seven remedy every time. So for me, I have, I have been fortunate that I have vast clientele. And I have been using single remedy also uh, to test. And I have seen efficacy of a single remedy is sometimes larger than a combination. So if one remedy is clear cut indicated, give that. That is just like our homeopathy. Single remedy will work much better sometimes when it is only indicated. If two or three remedies get indicated at the same time, there is no harm in combining them. Up to seven remedies, up to not 10 or 12 or 15 remedies together. That is not something uh, that's wrong, you know. You can't have 15 remedies competing with each other to work in a person. Uh, Dr. Lakshmi Natsaya and Dr. Pradeep Bhatnagar have uh, words of appreciation for your talk, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.
and uh, sir we are in the stage of uh, i mean post industrial revolution and the it revolution we are still a part of it and one thing that runs common uh, uh, in all uh, continents of this world is that uh, enduring stress so yes. do you have any formula for this in back flower uh, remedy sir the entire batch formula is for enduring stress only thing is we have to how we respond to the stress <laughs> so yeah Uh, so, sir, see if I ask you, does the homeopathy have any answer to uh, stress? So we have three thousand six hundred remedies in Kent Repertory. If we open that mind section, so one of them will definitely apply. We just have thirty-eight. What I mean to convey to the doctor who has asked is, definitely all the remedies will work, sir. I will give you one example. During COVID time, uh, it was so unfortunate that. Uh, uh, people have lost their parent so uh, in and around mumbai where I, i stay in mumbai so in and around mumbai we had decided that whoever uh, has lost both the parent and who are single now small children sir then we will give them batch remedies and i have a whole big network of people who have taken remedies from me so we would send them the remedy each individual was different sometimes we would get to ask them questions sometimes we would not so wherever it was possible we used to give the remedies wherever they could tell us we were giving them yeah thank you sir so wherever it was possible we were uh, giving the remedies so what we have found is as the, the answer lies that see each individual will be different so if i make a combination actually i am limiting the system the system is vast and everything for example <coughs> thank you sir so for example <clears throat> now the second when the second covid wave came many people who have recovered were uh, had a setback again what will happen now so it was so much uncertain so with one person his remedy would be x with another person it would be y and with third person it would be z so without knowing the patient if i give a formula to this group of homeopaths actually i am harming the system because the system says you have to individualize and i don't want to go against the system so i tell you doctor but i can assure you any batch remedy that you pick up which is indicated is definitely going to help is definitely going to help you just need not think whether this will work some formula viren is having nothing it is all we are grateful to dr samuel hanuman we are grateful to dr batch and all similar doctor who have not hidden anything from us who have given entire thing to us our job is just to see and find out so see i again stress in a small thing that uh, finding out combination which has worked for one patient might not work for the other patient this is what i feel thank you sir and uh, dr rajesh rao has a question sir about uh, the dosage of the remedies how long and uh, how frequent okay. yes sir so uh, i will again tell you what the bad center recommend bad center has worked out with the dosage and they have found that original batch when you are using original batch remedies in liquid form four drops four times a day is the minimum dose and in my own practice i have been practicing with original remedies for about, uh, now around 3 decades i have found that the, it is really uh, very helpful four drops four times a day so uh, are you able to hear me sir some there is some problem yes sir sir i don't know some screen has changed for me okay Okay, sir. Sir, you, sir? you can talk to me. I, I am seeing you are viewing Doctor An Anil's uh, yeah, yeah. screen. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Some more inadvertent thing has uh, uh, put on his uh, screen, sir. Uh, anyway, sir, thank you so much, uh, Virendra Sona Sariya ji, for that uh, enlightening uh, talk. Sir, I am clever. Sir, I am sure. More, Hello. Uh, Hello. Yeah. I. Sorry, I. I I sent oh, some doubt which is not responded, so I am asking. I want uh, sir contact number. 
and as well as the the best company genuine license company and the license education center of batch i have some experience but still i want to learn in a systematic way i think am i am audible sir gauri sir ji could you hear that question sir yes i have heard uh, uh, gauri shankar ji uh, sir already has my number and other thing but uh, i will i don't know how this screen has come otherwise i'll share it can you share your screen now so yeah. that that keep so oh, okay sir okay yeah i will uh, whoever wants this is the numbers and all that uh, let us also tell the audience that uh, virendra sona sariya ji is a, a renowned teacher of bachelor of and he comes to center from mumbai and he has bonam nigam kambale gauri shankar ji if you can just note down the number and uh, what we want to share with the audience is uh, uh, virendra sona sariya ji also runs this institute from mumbai and he conducts uh, uh, classes on backflower rem uh, remedies for uh, uh, homeopaths and others online you can feel free to get in touch with him on this phone number you can text him and uh, find out more about them uh, thank you virendra sona sir yeah. for accepting our uh, invitation uh, to be a speaker on this uh, special oration and uh, i'm sure we will look forward to hearing more in the future uh, we will uh, disturb you and take your time regarding this and uh, i request uh, the president of our association dr gopal krishna ji to take over and uh, for his comments on this oration and also for presenting the vote of thanks sir yeah thank you dr venu am i audible yes sir yeah thank you very much yes, sir yes for your very knowledgeable discussion so we profusely thank you and i have a small doubt or a little deliberation on rescue remedy how yes, useful sir. it is and also you authored a book on back flower therapy and covid so in this covid scenario how best can we help people suffering from post covid ailments or few of the mental complaints commonly coming across so do you have anything to share with us sure sir i will tell you see uh, i have uh, i have a facebook page uh, which i had uh, displayed here now and i keep writing articles so one of my article if you go to my facebook page one thing or anybody who visits my site so i write blogs so in one of the blog i have written how to uh, uh, take batch remedies for people who are suffering from covid that doesn't mean that anybody who takes the remedy will come out of covid absolutely not it will only assist them in their mental and emotional distress so few remedies are given i have also given pointers to find out the other remedies so whatever i had found uh, good with my patients at that point of time this was just when covid had come to uh, india you know during those uh, march april and may 20s so that time uh, whatever i could uh, give to my patient i put an article on that many people have read that article and they have benefited also whenever there is some big calamity or something going on in my facebook page i give whatever indicated remedy i feel for that uh, people for example in mumbai few years back there was a very big fire in mtnl building that is mahanagar telephone nigam uh, you must be knowing telephone so in in one of the place in mumbai and how what happened is one young fellow who was aged 24 years he uh, was the sole member earning bread member of his house he was inside that building most of the people have been evacuated but some of them were trapped inside and uh, then some people and he he has an very old mother who thought that now it is very difficult it was second day and they thought that people who have been trapped now they will die because the fire was very huge very huge so uh, 
somebody contacted me can you help that mother so doctor i am answering your question so very first thing i told that give rescue remedy okay. before i take the case sir i will tell you a short story behind uh, do we have time sir or i am holding yeah, on yeah, you can continue for yeah. a while so how rescue remedy was formed the doctor batch is the original founder of rescue remedy we in our batch center call it crisis formula so anywhere there is a crisis the first remedy that we use is called crisis formula so dr batch very well knew that some whenever there is a crisis it is where it might be difficult to ask the patient what his emotion what is feeling what is thinking is at that point of time some remedy has to be used directly so he combined five remedies individual five batch remedy and out of that uh, we got crisis formula now nelson company sells it by the brand name called rescue remedy there is another company uh, healing uh, herbs which sells it by the name of fly five flowers so other other companies will sell it by other names but the combination is the same which dr batch had given now it has been found that uh, rescue remedy or crisis formula is so effective and so powerful that it has surpassed the name of batch remedies people may not know dr batch or doc batch remedies in itself but they know what is rescue because they have at some point of the time uh, taken it in their life in fact nowadays i have seen in most of the airport uh, batch remedies are available on the airport shops itself and some airlines if people have anxiety uh claustrophobia or flying in the flight they have problem they will tell that uh, you please take that rescue remedy go to the shop buy it and take it because on the flight you will travel us so at that moment of time what to do so rescue remedy is a remedy a combination of five flowers which has been given by dr batch and they work efficaciously so sir's question was about the uh, rescue remedy rescue remedy can definitely be used when you have no recourse to any other remedies you can't even think some other remedies are required and it is a very emergency situation first remedy start with rescue remedy or crisis formula later as your patient settles down then you can select the individual remedy for them this is one thing and regarding that covid thing if you are interested if some of you doctors are interested i would request you please visit my uh, website there in that uh, blog section you you have those uh, things there if you want to read more of my articles then you go to my facebook page they are all available there one Thank more you, thing sir. i would like to share is if some of you are interested in lm potencies then uh, some months back bgen uh, we know bgen publishers had invited me to give a talk on lm potencies so there were two seminars held for one and one to one and half hour uh, in the covid time and uh, we had i had given a lecture on uh, uh, lm potency if someone wants to uh, go through that then it is available on the youtube in the youtube just type lm potency and my name you will get that whole thing it's a very big lecture explaining the fundamentals of lm potency till the preparation and dispensing of lm potency thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much so we profusely thank on behalf of our association for a very knowledgeable lecture so this has become a new tool in the hands of all the homeopathic <laughs> practitioners in their armamentarium so we once again thank you sir so you. we also thank all the participants and all the dignitaries and all our team members so we profusely thank and we also thank the sponsors of this event dr sheshachari memorial oration and the family of dr lakshmi narayanan so thank you one and all thank you sir